I recently got involved with the EDF motors on my planes. Normally I was just using the props, so I figured I'd give it a try. I bought about five uh, different EDFs, and uh, two of them were pretty much balanced. Um, the others are way out of balance, and you s start spooling up the motors and you get a heavy vibration, and you really don't get the full thrust or, or full RPMs out of the motors at all unless they are balanced. So what I did was I bought uh, from HobbyLobby.com, I bought a mag magnetic prop balancer. And what I do is I put the EDF blade on the balancer. And what I'll do is I will spin this about 10 times and mark with the highlighter, nice bright highlighter, where the blade stops. So if I spin this, it'll stop in a position you can see it's moving still. Alright, stops right there, so I put a little tick mark on the top. Do that again. And I won't do this uh, the full 10 times just to save some time here. But what I do is I count out 10 times, put another mark. Alright, and then do it again. We'll do it three times here. And what you'll see is that these marks will form a grouping and that will tell you where you need to add weight because the the light spot on the EDF is where you want to put some weight. Now what I normally do is I use epoxy glue. Um, I mix up some epoxy and put little dabs on it and keep trying it until I get it so that it doesn't stop in one place. Uh, but just for this demonstration I'll use some hot glue. So here we are again. We're almost in the same exact place as before. So what I will do is I'll just put a dab of hot glue here just to demonstrate on the inside of the hub so right on the inside of this hub I'll put a little bit of glue I'm blowing on that to cool it down my uh, workshop out in the garage is uh, very cold so I'm down in the basement here doing this quick video alright that should be good We'll put this back on the balancer, and we'll give it another shot. We'll spin this, and see where it falls. Right away you see how it's pretty much right on the spot. It, uh, it does not uh, stop and then turn backwards. So this looks like the EDF is pretty much in balance. Now, what you'll find when you fly the plane is that uh, not only does the EDF unit spool up quicker, so that's important for slow flying. When you're slow flying, you need to get out quick because uh, you're too close to the ground. A balanced EDF will really spool up quickly. But not only that, but the top speed is greater because you can get full RPMs out of the motor. And uh, not only that, the annoying buzzing noise you hear from an EDF that's out of uh, balance is the worst part. So in any case, I hope that's a quick little um, demonstration of how you can balance an EDF very inexpensively. Like I said, $19.95 for this balancer and uh, a highlighter and a drop of epoxy is all you need.